My name's Graham. I'm a mechanical technician. I work at CERN in Switzerland, which is home of the Large Hadron Collider. CERN's main goal is to look into the Big Bang, so the start of the universe, and particle physics. Every part, if we look at my skin, if we look at the air around it, all of this is made up of molecules and particles. The problem is, the smaller the particle, the bigger the machine you need. So as we look at smaller and smaller particles, these science machines are just getting huge now, but it makes them really interesting. I build a lot of equipment called cryostats, which you can see behind me here. These are part of the LHC, the Large Hadron Collider. We have to use a lot of what we call superconducting magnets that are really, really cold. We have to contain these cold magnets. And also I get involved with making procedures. If you had a, an air fix kit, you get your little booklet of parts. I very often have to make procedures like that so we can pass it on to someone else to do the work. I think from a young age I was aware of engineering. I was always making things, assembling things, trying to work out how things worked. I, I wouldn't say school really floated my boat. Academia for me was never going to be the option. We had quite a few big industrial companies locally that would take on apprenticeships. So for me it was always the route I was going to take. Originally I wanted to be a car mechanic, but as it was I ended up going more into science engineering because in Oxfordshire where I come from there's always a lot of big science projects. So for me it was a natural progression to go from one science project to the next. I came to CERN, I applied and this is the job I'm doing now. But I think I've just been lucky that I've arrived at the right time and been put on the right projects. Coming to CERN, you want your basic engineering skills. Hopefully you've done an apprenticeship or a college course. Then after that, you need to be able to work as a team. You also need to be able to work individually as well. I think technicians are the link between scientists, designers and engineers. If they were left on their own, they would design a great product, no doubt, but they very often need the input for a technician to say, how are we going to assemble that? Because you're taking part and you're working out how they go together, how they can't go together. I feel sometimes I'm a bit of a detective role. Perhaps it has to be a sequence. Part A has to go on before part C. If you have a part in a box, for example, and you need to use a spanner, you'll need room to move the spanner. I mean, it might even be logistics. A lot of the equipment here is huge. The one down the bottom there is 32 tonnes. When you look at a drawing of this, it's small. But to take it from one building to the other, you're using a crane, you're using a lorry, a trailer. And it's the technician's role, really, to highlight when we're doing that, we might need this. So we all work together, it's a collaboration. When I was young, I never thought I would be working abroad, but as I got older, I liked the idea. It's something I should have done when I was a lot younger. You see more of the world. I think it also looks good on your CV. It's something that I would encourage anyone to do. Luckily, CERN offers language lessons, and they're on uh, work's time, so you don't have to go to an evening class. It's exciting and I'm now in charge of a small team of five people. I never thought that I'd ever be, well, working at the biggest lab on the planet really. I love taking a project through from start to end. It's a real intense job but it's really enjoyable. It can be hard work and it can be frustrating at times but even when there's problems I think that makes the job more exciting. For me working as a technician the interesting part is working on a solution to a problem and correcting it and I really enjoy that because that's what it's all about. Yeah.